neutralization reaction experiment. The theory in this topic is about heat from chemical reactions. Usually, these reactions are carried out at a constant pressure. So, the heat refers to enthalpy or H or delta H. The reactions can be classified as exothermic reaction, where the reaction releases energy, and endothermic reaction, where the system absorbs energy. For example, before raining, the weather is hot. This is because water vapor releases the heat and condense to a water droplet. Combustion also releases heat. On the other hand, when ice melts, it absorbs heat from the environment, so you will feel cool. Evaporation of sweat makes you feel cool as well. The subject to study the heat from reaction is called calorimetry. Hence, calorimetry is a measurement of the amount of heat evolved or absorbed in the chemical reactions. The device to record the heat is called calorimeter. There are two types of calorimeters. A diabetic calorimeter, in which the reaction takes place at a constant pressure. So, the heat measured from the calorimeter is enthalpy. It is simply known as coffee cup calorimeter. Bomb calorimeter. Reaction takes place in a small chamber of constant volume surrounded by water. Normally, it is used to determine heat of combustion in which products are in the form of gas phase. In this experiment, a coffee cup calorimeter is selected to measure the heat in acid-based reaction or heat of neutralization. The coffee cup calorimeter basically consists of styrofoam to insulate the heat and the plastic cap with holes to insert thermometer and stirring rod. When a chemical reaction occurs in the calorimeter, the heat of the reaction can be detected by the change of temperature. So, the enthalpy or heat flow can be calculated with this equation, where Q is heat flow, M is mass of water or solution in grams. Delta T is the change in temperature calculated from subtraction of final temperature and initial temperature. The specific heat is amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of substance to 1 Celsius. Before going to detail, please think about pouring hot water in a glass. Heat from the hot water is also transferred to the glass. Therefore, the reaction transfers its heat to the solution and calorimeter. Calorimeter gain or loss the heat depend on its mass, specific heat, and temperature change. These two data is called heat capacity. The heat capacity of calorimeter is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of the calorimeter to one Celsius. Since each calorimeter has different heat capacity. Determination of heat capacity of the calorimeter must be estimated prior to use in determination of heat of reaction. So the objective of the experiment today is section 1, determination of heat capacity of calorimeter. By determining heat from the mixing of cold water and hot water. Second objective is determination of heat of neutralization. Reaction of acid and base called neutralization give oil and water as products. So in this section, neutralization of hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide is studied, giving sodium chloride and water and heat the heat released from the reaction will then be transferred to sodium chloride solution and calorimeter. 
theoretical heat of neutralization of strong acid and strong base is equal to 13.7 kilocalorie per mole of water. The minus sign means the reaction release heat or exothermic reaction. Experimental First, install a calorimeter set by opening the calorimeter cap, then insert thermometer and stirring rod. Close the cap, then place calorimeter in 400 ml beaker. Weight calorimeter and record. Section 1. Determination of heat capacity of calorimeter. Get 25 ml of tap water as a cold water using a graduate cylinder and pour into the calorimeter and weigh the calorimeter containing cold water. Also record the temperature of cold water. So now we get weight of cold water and temperature of cold water. Then get 25 ml of hot water using a graduate cylinder. Record the temperature of hot water which should be 40 Celsius greater than the temperature of cold water. Immediately pour the hot water with care into the cold water in calorimeter. Stir gently and record the temperature every 2 seconds for 10 seconds and every 10 seconds for 3 minutes or until the steady temperature is obtained. Remember that Timer should be ready by the time of mixing, since the temperature will change very fast in the beginning of mixing. With the calorimeter containing warm water, weight of hot water will be obtained. Conclusion in Experiment Section 1 Determination of heat of neutralization. Pipette 24 ml of 5 mora hydrochloric acid and transfer to the calorimeter. Next, pipette 1 ml of distilled water and transfer to calorimeter. Stir and then record the temperature of acid solution in the calorimeter. Get 25 ml of sodium hydroxide using a graduate cylinder. Immediately pour the sodium hydroxide solution into the calorimeter. Stir and record the temperature every 2 seconds in the first 10 seconds and every 10 seconds for 3 minutes or until steady temperature is obtained. Record the weight of calorimeter set containing product sodium, chloride, and water. After curve plotting, temperature of mixing is obtained. Now, you need to know how to find the final temperature after to experiment. The reaction normally takes place immediately after mixing. Since in the first 10 seconds, recording might not be followed, so the plot might be look like this. The mixing temperature will be obtained by extrapolating the linear portion of the curve back to zero time. So at this point, the temperature of mixing or T final is obtained. All solutions can be disposed into the sink. Today is carried out at a constant pressure or delta H which is equal to ms delta T. This means that the heat flow depends on temperature change, the mass and specific of material. Reminding in section 1, determination of heat capacity of calorimeter is by mixing hot water and cold water. So, Heat released from hot water will transfer to cold water and calorimeter. How much heat release of hot water depends on mass of hot water 
temperature change which all are record. Heat flow of cold water and calorimeter also use the same equation ms delta t. Finally, heat capacity is calculated. Section 2, determination of heat of neutralization. The reaction is hydrochloric acid react with sodium hydroxide to get sodium chloride solution. So, heat from the reaction transfer to the solution and calorimeter. Keep in mind, temperature change or delta T is calculated from T final minus T initial, where T final is obtained from curve plotting as follows. The initial plot might be not observed, so each group might get only these plots. Final temperature or temperature of mixing is got by extrapolating the linear portion of the curve to zero time. For instance, if temperature of cold water is 28 Celsius, temperature of hot water 80 Celsius, and T mix from the curve plotting is 55 Celsius. Data T from heat of cold water is 55 minus 28. The result get positive sign, meaning that heat gain or heat absorbed. Data T of hot water is equal to 55 minus 80 Celsius. So, it is negative sign, meaning that heat releases. That is why hot water transfers heat to cold water and calorimeter. Heat of solution also releases or exothermic reaction. Again, look at the result table. First, calorimeter set is weight, so we get mass of calorimeter. And after adding cold water, 2 minus 1 is equal to mass of cold water. At this point, temperature of cold water and calorimeter also record. So we get temperature of cold water and temperature of calorimeter. Then hot water is mixed to get warm water. After subtraction 4 and 2, we get mass or weight of hot water. And temperature of hot water also get. Now, what is the temperature of warm water? It is getting from curve parting, which is equal to T mix or temperature mix. Then, heat capacity of the calorimeter can be calculated as follows Heat release from hot water is equal to heat gain by cold water and gain by calorimeter or delta H of hot water is equal to delta H of cold water and delta H of calorimeter. Please note that the absolute sign shown in the equation stands for the quantity of heat change. This heat change can be release energy or gain energy. Positive and negative side do not include in the calculation. Replace delta H with ms delta T, so we get uh, m of hot water is delta T. Mass of cold water is times delta T. Plus m of calorimeter s of calorimeter times delta T, where s of the water or specific heat of water is equal 1 calorie per gram Celsius, but we don't know S or specific heat of calorimeter. In reality, we use these two data to get heat capacity of calorimeter. All the data are known except heat capacity. The calculation we get heat capacity of calorimeter is A. We do the same calculation for section 2 by the principle of heat of neutralization is equal to heat gain by solution and
gain by calorimeter or delta H of neutralization equal to delta H of sodium chloride solution and delta H of calorimeter. Heat of solution is mass of solution times S of solution times delta T plus heat of calorimeter is C of calorimeter times delta T. So all this data is known by S over here is equal to 0 0.860 calorie per gram per Celsius. So now we got heat of reaction is in the term of calorie. For example, B calorie. But the unit of heat of neutralization should be calorie per mole of water. Back to the reaction. The concentration of acid and base, 5 molar. In the experiment, we used hydrochloric only 24 ml, while the sodium hydroxide is 25 ml. So, hydrochloric acid is the limiting agent, and this equation already balanced. So, we can conclude that the mole of hydrochloric acid used is equal to mole of water from neutralization. The mole of hydrochloric acid can be calculated use this ratio, where volume is 24 ml, concentration of hydrochloric is 5 molar. So we get water C mole now. Hence, heat of neutralization can be calculated from here. So this is a B by C, calorie per mole of water. The experiments are carried out twice, so average heat of neutralization is obtained. For example, D dog. Theoretical heat of neutralization is 13.7 kilocalorie per mole of water. This minus mean the heat release. From the experiment, heat of neutralization is calculated to get the calorie per mole of water. So relative error can be calculated by over here is D and this is real number is 13.7 kilocalorie per mole.